Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play through a song called Get Me Body by Beyonce. And this may kind of differ depending on which version you're kind of listening to. I've kind of listened through a couple of the different versions to kind of kind of work on these licks. Um, but we're going to end up cabling this on first fret to kind of match Beyonce. But it does start off, at least in the live version, with this cool little, little countdown where, where you could start on the D string on the first fret. And we're going to end up cabling this. Um, but but then when, when the 9 happens, you go to first fret on the A string. And then fourth fret on the low E string for the four, and then we go to first fret on the D string, and then we go back to fourth fret on the low E string. So if you want to kind of try and match those licks, and then from there, then we go into kind of our main verse part. And I think you could really get away with with one of two chords. Actually, the easier way out is to play an A major chord. And when we play A major, first finger goes to the D string on the second fret, second finger goes to the G string on the second fret, and third finger goes to the B string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now, you may also want to kind of play around with an F sharp minor on that. And I think that's especially when the bass comes in, you'll kind of hear that change to the F sharp minor. And when you play F sharp minor, first finger goes across the entire second fret, third finger on the A string, fourth fret, pinky on the D string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F sharp minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And on, if you're new to bars, though, you can even work this as a smaller bar by doing the top two or the top three strings or the top four strings or even the top five strings. It would be kind of a cool way to kind of do that in short minor or even kind of work just one finger as kind of the bar through that part. Now, a lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 four, four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the A and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up. like to add to a song like this too is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up you could throw in a bass for the chord so on the a minor you'd have the a string for your bass and on the f sharp minor you'd have the low e string for your bass bass down up up down up bass down up up down up so you can kind of work that for your verse too or what it really feels like is like a really quick reggae feel and what you do in a reggae feel is kind of a bass and then a down up with the right hand and then you kill the strings and then you do another down and then kind of kill the strings so you do kind of a bass down up be repeating that until we get to our, our chorus part and when your chorus breaks in we start on the A major and then we go to a G major chord and when we play G major first finger goes to the A on the second fret second finger on the low E string on the third fret and then third finger on the high E string on the third fret and if you strum all those together that sounds a G major chord that sounds really really happy and then from the G major we're gonna be going back to the F sharp minor and at the very end we go to an F major chord and there's an easy way to play this, but if you know the bar F major, you do your first finger across the entire first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the A string, third fret, and the pinky on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And I could substitute for that, there's something called F major 7. And when you play F major 7, first finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major 7 chord. It sounds really, really groovy happy. And then you'll hear these cool little bass hits, especially in the live version, where you could kind of go to 3rd foot on the low E string, and then 4th foot on the low E string to kind of lead you back to the A major chord. So you could even kind of cheat that last F and do kind of a down, down, up, and then jump into that lick with a 3, 4. So if you're just doing the down, down, up, up, down, up, and actually kind of working this kind of slow if you're just starting out, You'd have the A, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, F sharp minor, down, up, up, down, up, F down, down, up, up, and then you could throw in that 3 4 lick and say, A, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up, F sharp minor, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, 3 4 to kind of lead back in. Or if you're 
digging on the reggae field, you'd have the A string for your bass on, on the A chord. On the G, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the F sharp minor, you'd have the low E for the bass if you're doing the full bar. And on the F major, you'd have the low E string for the bass if you're doing the bar F. And on the F major 7, you'd have the D string for the bass. So bass down, up, up, down. So you can just add basses to it. And have A with an A bass down, up, up, down. G with low E bass down, up, up, down. F sharp minor. The bass down up, up three four A down up, up down up G down up, up down F sharp minor F major and then three four or with the reggae feel this is a little weird it's almost like you do the two times on each of those chords so you have kind of a bass down up down A G G F sharp minor. Now the weird part is to play along with Beyonce, instead of starting on an F sharp minor chord, she's starting on a G minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on first fret, then now your F sharp minor is really a G minor chord, and the A major is really a B flat major chord, our G major is really an A flat major chord, and the F major is really an F G flat major chord. But to take it from the very beginning, you may want to start with the count off. Kind of that, that first fret on the D string is kind of kind of that before the, the numbers start. And then you go to the first fret on the A, and then fourth fret on the low E string, which is now fifth fret on the A string, or E string. And then you go to the first fret on the D string, and then back to that four. And then we kind of start with our F sharp minor or our A chord. And like I said, you, you especially if you're just starting out, you may want to use that A as kind of a substitute for the F sharp minor. So we tried that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Up, down. your reggae feel. It's kind of a times two deal on that. <laughs> so the A with the A bass. Or what it really sounds like is kind of that F sharp minor, especially when the bass player kind of comes in on the F sharp minor. But if you're covering it out, you might want to try and kind of mix it up actually between those two. It could be a very cool thing. F sharp minor. So we we'll basically be repeating that until we get to our chorus part. And then you could try the chorus with the down, down, up, up, down, up with the A, down, up. Up, down, a G, down, up, up, down, up, F sharp minor, F down, down, up, up, three, four, A, G, down, up, up, down, up, F sharp minor, F down, down, up, up, three, four, A. So you could kind of work it that way or adding basses to it, F sharp minor with three. That real that, that reggae feel. A G G F sharp minor. I think, is where you play open A, and then two on the A, three on the A, four on the A, and then open D, and then first fret on the D, and then second fret on the D, and then third fret on the D. It's almost like this little chromatic run. So that might be something that might be kind of cool to kind of add in or break from the pattern for. It's an F sharp minor. To, then eventually we get back to our chorus. Say, so, hey, hey, hey. and if you know other licks around those chords, that can always be a cool thing to kind of add into. Or even kind of reinforcing that lick with kind of power chords can be kind of a cool idea, actually. Some minor, F, F, and you can kind 
kind of make a power chord hit for that. <laughs> so, so I'm doing a G5, or what would have been a G5 without the capo, where I got first finger on the low E third, third finger on the A string, uh, fifth fret, or what would have been fifth fret, I'm really on four and six. And you can kind of reinforce that little bass punch. I don't know if you're kind of digging on that with, with those power chords. Get me by it <laughs> by Beyonce. So good luck. <laughs>